Welcome back. This is going to be my technical analysis of the commodities market and the precious metal market for Wednesday, December 16, 2020. We'll start out by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have fallen yet again today. We are down 0.30%. Um, and at this point, we are basically trading at the two year low for the US dollar index. So the US dollar has been just weak and weak and it has had major implications for most commodities and precious metals because there's a negative correlation between the US dollar and most uh, and commodities and precious metals, I have to say, and indexes and so on. So at this point, we are at. 19.38 and at the low we were at 90.32 so i would argue that probably the lowest that we'll get to at this stage is 90 and the reason why i say that is because if you look at the weekly chart we can see that we'll run into quite a lot of quite a lot of support over here and that is roughly at 90. So if you look at the technical indicators also for the weekly chart, these technical indicators are turning around. We are on the edge of being oversold. CCI is turning around, Stochastic is turning around, and usually MACD is turning around after that. So this may take a few days, but expect next week that we may have a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average, which is situated at 92.9 at this point. So this will have major implications on, for example, oil, on gold, and so on, in basically a negative way. We can also look at, for example, the one hour chart. And as you can see, we have created a double bottom here at the one hour chart. And there's a question whether or not we can manage to break below these very lows here at 90.31, which is about the very lows of the day. So if we do that, we're going all the way down to 90 and we'll most likely find major support there and then rally towards the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at oil. And we are going to look at the daily chart. Yes. So we tested these previous highs yet again today at 47.83 and then gave some of those gains back. So at this point, we are overbought in this market. We are basically on the edge of being overbought. We are 70. So technical indicators are not looking as bullish as they have been. So we have, um, we can write it up here, trend line here, which will act as resistance. So getting up towards this area, which is at 48.5, that will be fairly resistant and we'll pull back from there. So expect a pullback if we get to that level. We can also, I can imagine that major resistance will be around the 20 exponential and these previous lows. So we may see a pullback towards the 40, uh, 44.9 or 45 level, if that roughly there. 45 level, so pull back towards the 45 level, that is plausible. And uh, pay attention to the US dollar index. If that starts to um, appreciate, then this will fall towards the 20 exponential moving average. So the target at this point is the $50. So it is fairly likely that we will see uh, $50 uh, in the next few weeks. It won't happen within a few days, it will happen in a few weeks. And after that, we will see a lot of selling and that will pull this market back towards, well, first of all, the 20 exponential, where that is going to be at that point, and probably the 50 uh, moving average. If you look at the weekly chart for oil, we can see that these indicators are turning around. So this is going to act slower, but we can see that we are going to run into major uh, resistant at the 200 moving average probably uh, before that we can also look at the fibonacci retracement for the uh, for the 12 hour chart we can see that we have crossed the 61.8 and usually what that means is that we would head towards the 100 but 
the 200 moving average is in between here. So it will go this way, probably around the $50, it will basically hit the price level. And therefore we will go down after that. But looking at these technical indicators here, this should be a warning for everybody that's buying this. I will not certainly be buying this at this stage. I will be looking for the 50 in order to sell it. And main reason is because of the weekly chart is basically turning around before this market. So if you look at the at the 20 exponential for the weekly chart, that is all the way down to 31.75. So it is nearly a $10 drop, a $9 drop. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we have found resistant here, which was completely expected at the 20 exponential. So this market has behaved very similar the last, well, basically a month and a half. Since we got went all the way from these highs at 3.39, we fell towards the 50, rally up towards the 20, broke down below the 50, rally to the 20, broke down yet again, and now we're heading back to the 20. So if we follow this same pattern, this means that we're going towards the 200. The only problem that we're having at this point is that there is a massive storm um, or snowstorm coming to the northeast of the United States. And usually when that happens, when the highly populated uh, areas are under snow, this market just goes absolutely bananas. So we can look what happened when we had a very cold winter back in 2018. We went from uh, 2.7 all the way up to nearly $5. And that is an absolutely crazy move. So we can also look at the Fibonacci retracement here, the longer one for the for for um, for natural gas, and probably the main reason why we are finding resistance here is because we are running into the first Fibonacci retracement. So we found support here at the fifty rally up towards the twenty exponential, and if we manage to break through here, which I I don't think it's likely at this point. I think that we're going to make a move towards the 200 and we get close to the 200 or to these previous lows again. We may see a massive rally to the upside. So pay attention to the weather if um, if that will increase demand and that will basically shoot this market significantly higher. If we take out 3.38 then we are most likely heading towards four and probably also five dollars for this market. So let's look at copper. We can see that we uh, pull back um, from these highs of 3.6. We went all the way down to 3.49 today and then rallied again. But these technical indicators for copper are looking uh, fairly bearish at this point. So we may see a pullback towards the 20 exponential or we'll just see more of the same. It could well be that we are just uh, buying time or we get an action similar to this. So we're trading sideways until we hit the 20 exponential, break down towards the 50 and then we rally from there. It is, it's possible. The only problem here is that the 50 is far away from the far from the price level at this point up compared to this area here. So we'll see if we manage to trade sideways and hit the uh, 20 exponential and don't rally and then break down, then it's very likely that we're going towards the 50. And that is a major buying opportunity. It is not a good idea to buy it here. It's not a good idea to sell it here because every time you try to sell it in the past, it has rallied. But we are on the edge of being overbought. Our size is at 70. Technical indicators are looking more bearish. So we may see this go sideways or take a little bit down towards the 20 exponential. But 
this is a waiting game until it gets lower. So let's look at gold. So the main reason why we see this spike today is because of depreciation of the US dollar and we have stimulus talks or negotiations going around going around with the uh, Republicans and the Democrats. And you, that is basically what is um, making this market spike at this point. So we may have another test at a 50 moving average, but I think it's just going to be more of the same. We are trading at this point in a triangle. We have this resistance line above. We have this major support line underneath. And we have the 50 acting as res so resistant and the 200 moving average acting as support. So we may just stay in this area. The best um, entry levels are basically here at the major resistant line and the major support line. So if you get close to this, it's a sell. If you get close to this, it's a buying opportunity. We are going to rally uh, above this resistant line uh, in time because there is going to be more and more stimulus the next few years, and that will just drive this market even higher. If you look at technical indicators for this, they are looking all more bullish. And um, yes, we may see another run at the 50 moving average, but we have been rejected every single time. And when we break above, we have this massive pullbacks. So we're just going to see more of the same, most likely. So let's look at silver. We can see that silver is even more bullish than gold. We have broken the 50 moving average. We have this trend line here, which we are testing at this point. And it's going to be really interesting whether or not we are managed to break through that trend line. We have an additional support line here. And yes, if we manage to break the trend line and trade above it, then we are going significantly higher. We're going to 25. Then we're heading to 26, to 27, 28, and probably to 30. I think that we're going to turn around from here. If you look at uh, the, the one hour chart, we can see that we are running out of steam, heading towards the 20 exponential. If that breaks, we're heading to the 200 at 24, and then probably to the 50 at, at uh, a little bit lower than that. But you can see on the technical indicators for the one hour chart, we are turning around. So we are most likely going to head back towards these lows here. And we're just going to see more of the same. It is going to take time, most likely before we break above here. But it's probably going to happen earlier for silver than for gold. If we break this level here, then we are going significantly higher. I don't think that we are going to break the lows. These are major, major uh, buying opportunities if we get close to this support line. So let's look at platinum. We can see that we have rallied quite significantly. We um, at this point we are trading at 1.035, and uh, technical indicators are looking well. They're looking very positive at this point. CCI is bullish, the stochastic is across the signal line, so is the MACD, and RSI is also fairly bullish. But I doubt that we're going to cross this very highs. I think that we're most likely going to go to these previous highs here at 1.048 before we run into quite a lot of resistance. We are quite high in the RSI, so there's not a lot of room to the upside, but at this point, 20 exponential moving average is significant uh, support. So every time we get close to that, it is basically a buying opportunity. So let's look at Pallium. It is just more of the same. We are, we have, sorry, we have the, probably the highs of this market here at 2.446. And the very lows in this market are roughly 2.187. So we're right in the middle and we have been here for a very, very long time. I would not enter this market until we get to these very highs. And if we get rejected as a sell, 
if we get rejected down here in the bottom, that is basically a buying. So we have been trading sideways for a very long time, all the way since July. You can basically argue that we've been in this uh, narrow uh, price level. And until we get to the highs or lows, it doesn't really matter. It would be interesting if we broke these highs and tested these previous highs, then we'd most likely go to the all-time highs. So long-run perspective for this market is that we are most likely going to go higher as the world economy is going to um, go back. Uh, demand for this will increase and therefore uh, the price will also increase. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want full access to our all our technical analysis or all the uh, commodities uh, analysis uh, on eToro, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you also can get access to our signal service and our online courses and trades. So good luck and thank you very much.